Welcome to FS17 Heavy Rescue. We just received a call of a head-on collision atop the bridge. The pickup truck, semi-truck with reefer trailer is hanging off the bridge. Emergency services are on scene. No injuries have been reported. The bridge along with the highway underneath is all closed down. I did dispatch our international rollback to the crash site and we were just called here in the Pedro 379 day cab rotator. We'll be hopping here on the inside and we'll be making our way over to the crash site. It's just down the road here from us, which is good. No injuries have been reported. That's always a big thing here. We don't want anybody harmed, and this is a pretty bad crash. We'll be using this rotator quite a lot today, and we are here on the mowing map version 3. I haven't done a video in quite some time, number of months, on this map, and I did get some requests too, so let me know if we should do more videos here back on this map. I originally released this, the first map I've released, but here here is a crash site way up ahead of us, and we do have the brand new uh, chain with us to attach and uh, literally pick the entire truck, semi truck, up off the uh, halfway off the bridge and bring it to all uh, wheels on the ground. So that's the main goal today to get them back, get the bridge opened up. We're first going to come over here, looks like uh, the police have it closed off, looks like highway, uh, the state troopers and the local police are here on scene, and engine 72 take lock that, our international rollback is right over here, you guys can see that's all ready to go, whoa, take a look that guys, it's pretty much dangling off, wow, I'm very surprised this trailer has not broken in half, and that semi truck, wow, take a look that, uh, they definitely had to close down those, uh, Roads, you guys, since there should be a police officer over here. Yes, police officer. Wow, uh, the highway is completely closed down. And then that is the pickup trucks. So we were told by the police they swerved into uh, the semi truck. He went to swerve off, and the truck just climbed these cement barriers and went. And he was going pretty fast. Uh, they said the speed limit on this road is, I believe, 45. So 45, and just wanted to get out of the way of that pickup truck. Went up and over the concrete, and they both are now over. It was uh, head on as well. Head on. Even though he did try to avoid it, he just could not. So we really do get to use this uh, rollback and also the rotator. And this is one awesome truck. This is pretty much a mobile crane, but it's so efficient, so fast to respond to crash sites. It's awesome. And I really do enjoy doing heavy rescue videos just like this. So I'm thinking we first have to get this uh, small truck out of the way. It's, it's in the way right now of us getting the bigger one. So we'll try to get this... <laughs> And I think that uh, we'll pull forward here just a little bit. We will have to get the rollback uh, into position as well. But I want to get this uh, up in the air. Then we'll just back the rollback uh, right underneath. And that should work there. So we'll raise up the boom just a little. The more we raise it up, though, it does uh, lower the lifting capability and I really do like this brand new uh, chain it allows us to directly attach we don't have to attach to a hitch anymore and that's awesome how we can do it so now we have to find the area where we can attach to it might be a bit tricky but it should let us attach and looks like we are attached now perfect we gotta lift it up in there very quick and easy I mean it's so efficient when you do a big trucks like this we'll extend it all the way out now we'll get this turn trying to be as careful as I can and uh, we really need this rotated wow that is so close to the truck so we'll be as careful as we can and looks to be perfect we'll lower it down that should stop the rotation so perfect so there we go next up we'll get the rotator uh ready to go and looks like wow i mean we literally lifted that up like it's nothing that's awesome that this uh rotator is like that we'll come over here hop here in the international let me know if you guys would like me to do more heavy rescue videos i want to do big truck crashes and then leave the little tiny ones for the towing and repoing company so we'll get this backed up here and more than likely we'll have to lift up and then uh, back in once again and i do appreciate all of the support here on the heavy rescue videos i do watch a few youtubers that do heavy rescue and stuff like that it's just a lot of fun to watch as well and you guys uh, really do like these so I like doing them cool things like this unique things and uh, and that looks to be good perfect the truck is rotating back and that's what we really did need as well so we'll lower this down and almost having it whoa we actually have to come over quite a bit and the controls are inverse because we are the opposite direction We'll have to remember that and take a look at that, guys. On our first try, we were able to pretty much get it right on. That is awesome of us. We did do a very nice job here. Wow, take a look at that. This wheel is there on the little uh, 
side wall there, but that's okay. Wow, that's awesome. That's amazing, actually. We got this here on the first try. We're just going to move this right over here to the side. Now, the police officers will be taking pictures here of the uh, wreck, and they'll be getting the VIN, especially now since it's safe. They'll be getting all that information. Up next, we'll have to uh, lower the arm, put the stabilizers in, and we got to keep going here. But I'm excited to be back here on the mowing map. I haven't done any videos on this map in months. I haven't even remembered the last time I was on this map. So it's been a very long time. And it's nice to be back here doing them. So I think uh, this will be the safest position here for us. I don't want to go too close to it because uh, midway through the lift, we do not want to, whoa, we do not want to have to reposition. That wouldn't be good. So next up, and I really want to get a camera view up top of the boom. That will be awesome to do. We'll get this up in the air like that, and we'll actually switch the controls back over to the uh, chain. We actually have to switch back and forth. But you guys can see it's a reaper full of foods, I believe. And I'm surprised it hasn't, like, ripped into shreds. Uh, because the sidewalls on these aren't really the best. So we'll try to get a grab on this. We should be able to. So it's just like trial and error a few times to get it. We have the chain attached here to the semi truck. And we are ready to go here for the big lift. This will be a bit tricky since we have to lift up and move it over here to our right. But we should be able to do it. And the rotator should also be able to handle it. So we'll lift up here. You guys can see we are moving the entire thing. And that is a big, uh, very, very heavy as well. Take a look at that, guys. It's completely rotating. It's moving around here. Sometimes the movements here aren't as realistic as what it can be here. But it's still cool that we can pick it up. And we've actually come a long way here with lifting things up in far later we used to lift it up and it used to kind of be delayed but now it's pretty direct and that is awesome here it was a bit tricky I will say getting that chain attached but I was able to do it we do have to double check make sure our rollback is no longer there in the way but wow this is a very very heavy load but we are making it work which is always a good thing we have to get the road open as soon and as quick as we can so we'll kind of pull that chain in and it will lower the boom and actually we did do a very nice job there we'll keep uh lowering the winches and lowering the boom and uh, we are just doing a very nice job here and that's actually pretty close to our truck but that looks to be good there and uh, because we are unable to attach to it, uh, the truck what I do want to do is to kind of move these stabilizers in and I want to drive forward with this attached here we are just dragging it now this is our only really way to move this truck so we have to be pretty careful we are just going to drag it here and kind of off the road that is the main goal of what we are going to do is pretty slow movement, but uh, we should be able to get it done. Let me know if you guys would like me to do more heavy rescue videos here on the channel. I really do like doing these. We'll be hopping here in this police car and I will be moving it back. We gotta get this bridge open and all lanes open. And we'll just kind of bring this and bring it off to the side in the grass. That should be good there. So we got the police car moved and whoa, this is a very big load. Now I do have the stabilizers pretty much all the way down. They're just a few inches up. And uh, that's so we could just keep rolling here. We just want to get the road opened. We now have the semi truck here off the bridge area. Next up, we'll be putting out the stabilizers and we'll be just dragging this here and putting it in the grass. We do actually have to have a special truck come out to uh, move this. It's going to be a bit tricky because the entire frame of the cab is completely destroyed and you can't just tow that behind a normal uh, wrecker like what we have today. So we're just going to lower this down. That almost looks to be good there. Perfect. We did do a very nice job here with this. Up next, we'll be disconnecting here from it. Now, like I have touched upon, it was very tricky to get it to attach, but I was able to make it work, and that was pretty cool there. So I think up next, and the last few things we'll do here is to move all the police cars, emergency vehicles here, and then I think to kind of finalize it, uh, we'll uh, bring back the uh, small pickup truck which is completely totaled out so we'll keep the rotator here we'll be using this to lift that on to a little boy and I believe that it is currently in route but I don't think it's it's going to be here in time to uh, kind of finish off the video but that's okay we'll hop here in this Rock City police car and we'll move it off to the side of the road I really do like using these police cars it's a great way to showcase uh, police cars and farming simulator especially since we don't usually use them too much so now we have it down it just just 
just a few feet of the road is closed, but that looks to be good there. Perfect. I mean, we got this road opened in no time at all. It was a bit tricky, a bit scary, and uh, because any wrong move, we could have took the rotator down over the side. And I will be doing lots more heavy rescue videos with uh, snow coming very soon as well. So that will be pretty interesting. So we'll come over here and we'll just move engine 72 to the side of the road. And back the engine up over here I think we'll just kind of put it over here in this corner it's a bit safer and we'll be bringing these back over there to the station now the state troopers uh, take care of the highway the highway patrol came along with the local PD We'll keep the hazard lights on, and I think we'll keep those uh, extra lights on up top at the light bar, which is nice. I really do like the Rock City Police Department uh, skins. They are awesome. You guys can see. Pretty cool. Big shout out goes out to Arnold Apparatus on Facebook here for releasing these uh, police cars here and the fire truck. And then Wood Metal Farming uh, for the rotator. I actually did edit it, put a new cab on it. But overall, it's a very nice one. You guys, since we, we got all the roads opened, the last thing we have to do is come up here and hop in our international uh, rollback. I really do like this a lot, especially with these strobe lights. They look pretty cool. And this truck, we actually lifted on very easily with our uh, rotators. So that's also great as well. And we have it all chained down. So we'll just cruise back over here to our shop. And the insurance companies will have to now kind of take a look. This is definitely a total loss. Uh, the cab is completely crushed and a lot of front end damage. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far and I hope yours is too. Let me know if we should do more videos here on the mowing map version 3. I do like this map. I did build it. I did release it. But that is going to be it here for today's Heavy Rescue. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.